Hey guys, welcome to Bano Talks, your very own technology channel, guys. Guys, uh, today we are going to talk about a really cool technology which Apple has recently used in its Apple Watch Series 5. Yes, Apple Watch Series 5 has been recently launched by Apple in America in, and worldwide. Now, what they are saying is that they, are, they have used a really, really cool display technology which they are calling it LTPO. Now, this is a whole big name and what lies in the name, what is all this display technology is all about. This is what we are going to talk in this video and I hope that you will really like the video. So guys, uh, what this LTPO means is, let's first try to learn. LTPO means low temperature polycrystalline oxide, right? Low temperature polycrystalline oxide. Now it's kind of a semiconductor material which has Apple used on its Apple Watch display and there are number of cool and good things about this display. Now what this, the good thing about the display is that by using this technology, Apple has enabled the function of always on display on its Apple Watch. Now, you might be knowing that in the earlier watch series, like in uh, Apple Watch Series 4, uh, what they had did was that the display they were using was an LTPS display. Now they are using LTPO display, which is an advanced version of that display itself. Now, in Apple Watch Series 5, what uh, Series 4, sorry, what we were having is that when you turned your wrist like this, the display was lit up and when again you rolled your wrist down, the display went off. Now this was quite uh, difficult in some kind of scenarios where uh, you have to use, uh, you have to see something on the display. Now to get rid of this thing, what they have done is that they have enabled the always on display on the Apple Watch Series 5. What it is actually happening on the display of the Apple Watch Series 5 is that the refresh rate of the screen, it jumps from, it re, uh, falls from 60 hertz per second to nearly as low as one hertz per second. Now when this guy's display falls to one hertz per second, the display, it dims so much that it is only visible to you, but it is consuming a uh, very, very less power. So what they are saying is that the they are using an ultra low, uh, uh, dimming display and the display driver which they have using is that uses a uh, LTP uses a uh, ultra low power display driver and it has an efficient power management and also it has a new ambient light sensor now this ambient light sensor dims the display and but the display is always on so that you can see all that useful information on the display and all this is happening because of this uh, new technology which they are calling is it LTPO which I told you itself now uh, besides uh, downing the refresh rate from 1 Hertz to 6 uh, from 60 Hertz to 1 Hertz per second uh, they are uh, enabling the watch to consume very very low power and what Apple is saying that their new Apple watch it consumes uh, uh, they, uh, it consumes power which is even uh, 5 to 15 percent more power efficient Apple Watch as compared to Series 4 watch. So also uh, the, there is one more thing in this new Apple Watch Series 5 is that when the display goes dim, the even the second hand, if you are using an analog display guys, the second hand disappears. And if the watch face you are using uh, that is uh, using a white background in this ultra low power mode of one hertz the display turns automatically to black isn't it amazing right so uh, this is what guys uh, they have done with this ltpo that is low temperature polycrystalline oxide display and it is a patented technology which has been used by apple it's uh, going to be uh, used in future devices as well but for the time being it is patented by apple and they are uh, going to use it in further apple watch series as well which would come uh, in Apple Watch Series 6 or Apple Watch Series 7 with new new enhancements. So this is what I wanted to tell you about this new display technology of Apple Watch Series 5. Once again, to sum it up for you, I can, um, uh, you can say that this is a very very low power consuming display. It's an always on display, consumes very less power. Uh, it 
uh, increases your you can say it saves your power from 5 to 15 percent and it's a very very efficient display no other watch in the world guys no other watch in the world has this kind of display which has been used by apple so i hope that uh, you have got the idea with which i wanted to convey to you so if you like the video kindly share it with your friends and family members and you have if you have any comments do share with me in the comments box i would be eagerly waiting for them thanks for watching this bano talks video and i will see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.